Ideally in Cambodia, a woman walks so quietly you can't hear her footsteps. She smiles without showing her teeth and laughs softly. She never looks directly into the eyes of any man. Culturally, the girls are expected to provide for the family. I think that selling women into prostitution has always existed in Cambodia. Human trafficking is so, is so ugly, it's so demeaning. But at the same time, because of that, you must fight harder. So Mali Mam was raised in the worst condition. She was forced to prostitution as a child. And yet, you know, she herself, her own dignity, her own strength, her own beauty, won. And not only for herself, but for the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of children behind her. The girls in the shelters, they don't have a mother figure anymore. So Somali is their mother. So when they see her, they, they're just so happy to have someone to look up to. When I first arrived here and was able to work and study, to learn sewing and other skills, I was happy and I knew I would never have to feel alone again. They've grown up not thinking that they can do anything, that they're only existing for because of their bodies. I have no parents, no one care of me. Before, only the people make me hurt. Without Somali stopping this, they'd, they'd just be stuck there. There's no way for them to get out. It's, it's culturally acceptable for them. It's, they know nothing else. Not a lot of people like her because she used to be a victim, but right now she stand up and half an hour a victim, thousand of victim. She never scared about dying. The people who perpetrate these crimes are extremely desperate to continue them, to not be interfered with. And so someone like Somali, who knows exactly what their operations are like, she lives in mortal fear. Uh, that something could befall her or her family or the young women that she rescues and works with every day. You know, when I get hungry sometime and I want to stop, I go to the shelter, I saw the children, they call me mommy. They call me mommy, so I am the mommy of them. I should take the, all my responsibility for them. Just seeing her and seeing how she's overcome, what she's overcome, it really inspires them. It encourages them to go on and pursue whatever they want to do. Thank you, Somali. We love you forever. They give me the new life. So it's not like just I help them because, you know, I help them, they help me. Like we give the life together. I give them the life, new life, they give me the new life.